Tales of Seiku is a fantasy-style life sim RPG that is coming in the near future. This game is already on Kickstarter, and it's already made over $130,000 towards its goal. In this game, there are going to be 40-plus residents who live on an island, and these islanders, they're all going to have very distinct personalities, and they're all going to have their own occupations and hobbies. This game is going to have a pretty big focus on the marriage aspect. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at all of the already revealed marriage candidates, and I'm just going to be making my guesses about what their personality, hobby, and interests are going Going to be. The first character is Hephaestus, and this character it looks like he's going to be a blacksmith. That is my guess. He has a patch and just his clothing, yeah, it makes me think he's going to be a blacksmith. This character is going to be very loud and very strong, but to balance him out, I think he's going to have a hobby. This may be a little bit more on the feminine side. So I'm going to guess that maybe he also secretly likes flowers and he wants to be a floral arranger in his heart. The next character is Musashi, and he looks a little bit more on the introverted side of things. So I think he's going to have an occupation that's well suited to introverts, like being a fisherman. If he's a fisherman, then he can spend a lot of time on his own, contemplating things and things like that. So I think his occupation is going to be a fisherman, but his actual real hobby is going to be woodwork. Um, he likes to make his own fishing poles and that type of thing. He's going to be one of those characters that's slow to warm up to the main character. You're going to have to give him a lot of fish and talk to him a lot. Otherwise, he's not going to be your friend. The next character is Nyo Tengu, and Nyo Tengu, I think she's going to be very, very outgoing, and yeah, a little bit on the crazy side. In terms of an occupation, I think she's going to be a mercenary, or definitely something that's really out there and, you know, really aggressive. In terms of hobbies, I don't think she's going to be well-rounded like the other two. I think she's going to be one of those characters who's just like really hyper-focused on the things that she likes. So her hobbies and her job, they're all going to be one and the same. So she really likes fighting. She really likes swords. And yeah, she just has a really aggressive, really strong personality. The next character is Oda Yue. And she has pink hair. She looks a little bit on the younger side compared to the other characters we've looked at so far. And yeah, she's got some flowers in her hat. So I think she is going to be the florist in the town. I think she's going to like collecting flowers. And she has a lot of patience, you know, because she works with seeds and growing the seeds into flowers. And that takes a long time. So she's going to have a very pleasant personality. In terms of interests, I think she's also going to be interested in fashion. She secretly wishes that she could be a tailor. She loves growing flowers, but she also would like to create dresses that have flowers on them. The next character, Shu Ten, is going to be kind of in the middle as compared to the last two characters we looked at. Nyo Tengu is really aggressive, and then Odo Yue is very passive, whereas Shu Ten, she's going to be in the middle. She's not really going to be super aggressive or super passive. In terms of an occupation, she is going to be a shopkeeper. She likes to sell different things to the different travelers and hear their exciting stories. So she secretly wishes that she could also go on adventures, but because of her shop, she has to stay there and maintain the shop. However, she really likes it when new people come to the shop and can tell her their different stories. She secretly wishes that she could be a writer. She's heard a lot of stories from lots of different people, and she wishes that she could write it all in an anthology. The next character is Sasaki, and I think this character, he's going to be a little bit on the lazy side. He doesn't have a job, he just kind of freeloads off of other people. I feel like most farming sims and games where you can date different characters, they always have this one or two character who they're really lazy and they don't really like to work that much. And my guess is that that is going to be Sasaki. In terms of a hobby, he likes to try a lot of different things, but yeah, he doesn't know what his hobby is actually going to be yet. So he doesn't know what he wants to do for his job, and he doesn't know what he likes yet. If you as the main character start to date him, then he's going to make you the center of his life. The next character is Yanni, and I think Yanni is going to be a musician. She looks like she could be a singer, so I think that's what she's going to do. She's going to sing every night at the tavern. 
However, if you get to know her, you'll know that she actually wishes that she could be a songwriter and a singer, but as it is right now, there's somebody else who is writing all the words that she's singing, and you as the main character, as you get to know her better, her confidence is going to go up and up, and then she's going to start writing her own songs and singing them every night at the tavern. As she does this, she gets more and more popular, and she thanks the main character for inspiring her. The next character is Liliana. Now, Liliana, she is a painter. I think if you have a hat like that, you also have to have an easel and you have to start painting. <laughs> so yeah, my guess is that she is going to be a painter. And for her as well, her hobby and her occupation, they're one and the same. She loves painting. So yeah, she loves anything that is related to painting. Because she loves painting, she also likes walking to different areas of the town at different times of day. She likes to watch the sunset and see how the sunset makes different parts of the village look different. She also likes to talk about how everyone else is always so busy so they don't get to see the beautiful things in life. So yeah, she's a very serious character and she likes to spread her philosophy and her artwork with other people. The next character is Yoji. I think Yoji is going to be a businessman, like a trader, like someone who trades different types of goods. So maybe he works on the supply chain. So he is the one who makes sure that there's fresh produce coming to the town and that type of thing. It looks like he wears really nice clothes. So I don't think he personally is the one who transports the things. He's just the one who oversees it. He could also be a manager, somebody who just tells other people to do certain things. His personality is also very serious, but he's kind of the opposite of Liliana <laughs> in that he doesn't like taking time to look at the little things. He's really obsessed with money looking good, and the material aspect of life. He doesn't really have time for hobbies because he spends most of his time worrying what other people think of him and trying to look his best. The next character is Amabi, and Amabi, she's also going to be a shopkeeper. She is going to be one of the characters who's a little bit older, so she's going to be a little bit more mature and kind of jaded by life. In the beginning, we think that maybe she doesn't have any hobbies, she's just a very serious person, but as we get to know her, we slowly start to learn that she actually does have hobbies. She loves reading, going to the library, and different things like that. The last revealed character is Tor Leone. And Tor Leone is also somebody who is very serious and also very dedicated to his craft. His craft is going to be that he is a chef. Um, his outfit just kind of reminds me of somebody maybe who makes sushi. So I think he's going to be somebody who cooks and yet yeah, works with fish. In terms of hobbies, he really loves swimming and fishing. Those are all of the currently announced marriage candidates for this game. There is also at least one secret marriage candidate who has not been revealed yet. You can see their profile here. Looks like it's also going to be a male character, although I guess it could be a female character. But to me, the medium length hair, it kind of strikes me as a male character. Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I was right or wrong about these different marriage candidates? Looking at their artwork, do you have any opinions about any of these characters? What do you think their hobbies, interests, and personal? personalities are going to be like. Please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time.